Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to create a snowman to um, put on our beautiful, remember this beautiful paper that we painted last week? We're going to make a snowman to put on here. So everyone will have um, at their table, there'll be a couple of these, so you're going to use it and then pass it to um, your the person next to you. The first thing we need is the big giant snowball at the bottom. That's This is going to be his body. So I'm going to trace around the biggest circle, which is this whole thing. And then you can see that this is the next biggest circle. That's going to be his head. So I'm going to lay that one right next to, see where the top of the big circle is? I'm going to overlap it so I can still see the big circle. I want them to cross over each other. So when I draw this circle, I can see still see the top of this circle. Okay, so they overlap. You see how they made another shape in here? That's overlapping. All right, and then after you do that, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut out your snowman, okay? So when you're cutting, try to stay right on your pencil line. And when you come to this overlap part, stop and turn your scissors the other way so you can go around his head, okay? and use your helper hand, this hand, to turn the paper like that. So if I turn the paper, I don't ever have to turn my scissors, I can just turn the paper with my helper hand and then stop. Don't cut his head off, stop when you get right where they under, when they, where they touch. And then go around this. Now we're going to make a scarf for him, so it's going to cover up that pencil. We won't even see that, okay? Once you have him cut out, you're going to glue him on. I actually think I'm going to glue him so I can't see the pencil. So I'm going to put my glue on this side. And when you do glue, you don't need to glue in the middle. You just need to glue around the outside of his body. So make glue dots that go down around his body and around his head. You don't really have to worry about putting any glue in there because the outside is what you want to stick down. Okay, then flip it over and be sure that you stick your snowman in the snow and his head up in the blue sky, okay? Don't do it upside down like this with your blue sky this way, okay? Make sure your snow is at the bottom. Okay, now I'm done making my snowman. Now I've got to give him a scarf and a hat and all the fun things that I want him to have. I think I love purple, so I'm just gonna pick purple here. And this is way too thick, isn't it, for a scarf? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our paper in half, but we're going to cut it long ways in half like this. So watch. I'm going to start on this little short end and I'm going to cut. And I'm just going to keep cutting and trying to stay about in the middle there like that. See how I'm doing that? And it's going to make a nice skinny strip just like this. Oh, that's perfect. Actually, I could share this with a friend because I don't need that much. And then I'm going to take and kind of measure Yep, I think that's about right, and I'm going to cut that right there. So that looks like it could be his scarf going that way, and then I'm going to cut another piece. Whoa, that's way too long, right? So I'm going to cut this one maybe about that long. Okay, that looks like a good length to me. And I'm going to stick down that scarf, so turn it over, put some glue on it. Good amount of glue so it doesn't fall off, right? I don't want to lose my scarf. And then I'm going to put that right there on his neck, right between the small circle and the large circle. And then I'm going to do this one. And then I want to make my scarf kind of fun. So I'm going to make some stripes. And I want to show you guys how to make stripes in case you want to make some stripes on your scarf. All you have to do, let's see, I like this blue. I'm going to pick blue. Purple and blue are pretty colors. Um, you do have to cut this in half again. If Mrs. Walker hasn't already done this for you, you need to, you're going to want to make this skinnier, okay? So go right down the middle, just like we did before. And then, obviously, I won't need both of these, so I'll probably just leave that one. But to make stripes, you're going to cut a really skinny little strip right off the end of here. See, there's one stripe, two, three, four. Let me see if that's enough. So, <clears throat> do you think four stripes will be enough? I don't think so either but I'm going to start with four. Watch. Then I can glue my stripes right onto my scarf. Let's see here. Glue, glue, glue. There we go. Oh, maybe I can put this. Now it's easier to put it on the stripe. 
So there we go. And then I might put some going this way on this part, right? Because if he has stripes, I need to cut a few more, don't I? So that was four. Let me see how many I need. Five, six, seven, eight. I bet I won't need it. Oh, I bet I don't even need eight. But that's okay. It's okay to cut a few extras, right? You can always stick them on the edge. All right, there I've got my scarf. Now, what else does a snowman need? I hope you said eyes and a nose. He definitely needs some eyes and a nose. Now, we're going to do our eyes with a Sharpie, so we don't have to use paper for that. But our nose, we need some orange paper for that, don't we? And what shape would a carrot nose be? Because I'm going to make mine a carrot nose. What shape is that? Ooh, I hope you said that it is a triangle, but it's a long skinny triangle, right? So everybody's going to have a little square of paper. If you start at one corner and you cut at an angle like this, see I'm cutting it at an angle, you will end up with a nice carrot nose, okay? And you could even like make a lot of carrot noses here, but I don't need that many, right? I could keep cutting like this. Look at how many carrot noses I got out of that one piece of paper. Yeah, you could even share it with a friend, I suppose. Maybe I should just put one square on the table and let everybody share it. Because look at I got, this doesn't look like a carrot to me. That looks like it could be a stripe on my scarf, doesn't it? If I may cut it shorter. But you could share that square with everybody at your table, okay? And everybody will have a nose. So I've got my nose. I've got my scarf. I think um, I need some, let's see, where's my marker? Eyes. So let's make some, oops, I better glue that down, right? Because that's going to fall right off. Let me glue my nose down first. Okay. Now, his eyes would be above his nose, so I'm going to make two circles, and then I'm going to color them in. There they are, and then I'm going to color them in so they look like chunks of coal. And then, you could give him a mouth. That would be really small chunks of coal, right? Really like little dots that kind of make a smile. You could do that. I might even give him some buttons here. I think I'm going to give him some buttons like that. Maybe I'll color those in too. All right. Now I will, I'll have to go look. I don't have any brown paper right now, but it might look kind of good to have a piece of brown paper for his arms, right? If we wanted to make them like little sticks. All right. Have fun making your snowman look like a snowman. Oh, I could put a hat, couldn't I? How would you make a hat? If you were trying to make a hat for your snowman, how could we make a hat? Could we use this for a hat? You're right, we could. That could be the rim of the hat, right? That could be the um, part that goes across. But then I would need what above? I hope you said a curved line. How could I make a curved line? With Could I make a circle with this? Yep. So if you have um, a piece of paper like this, you can lay this on here, and you don't need the whole thing, right? I only need about half, so I'm just going to lay this right here on the edge like that, and I'm going to cut that out. See that circle I just made, or half circle? Let me cut this off so you can see. Oh, you guys couldn't see it. Do you see that half circle I made? I traced this on here like that and made a half circle. And now I'm going to cut out that half circle and I'm going to use that for the top of his hat, like right up here. There we go. My snowman has a hat, doesn't he? All right, have fun. Could I have used a triangle for his hat? I guess I should ask you that. Could his hat have been a triangle? Would that work? Yeah, that could be a cool hat too. So you get to make him however you want him to look. Have fun.